This video shows how to load a substrate in the Roll to Freefall configuration on the HP Latex 3000 printer. The Roll to Freefall configuration is suitable when you want to cut and remove prints as soon as they come out of the printer. We will also show how to set up the Roll to Collector option. This configuration is similar to the Roll to Freefall configuration, but with the addition of a collector roller and loop shaper. First, push the input roll into position at the back of the printer. Then close the input roll latches on both sides. Center the input roll using the ruler markings on the input spindle. Centering the roll will reduce the risk of skew, wrinkles, and telescoping. Next, inflate the spindle to fix the roll into place. Go to the computer. Select Substrate Load Unload in the internal print server controls. In the printer configuration window, select Assisted under Substrate Loading Type. Then select Roll to Freefall under Select Configuration. Go to the back of the printer. Unlock the loading table latches on both sides of the printer. Gently lower the loading table. Find the end of the substrate. Pull out enough substrate to cover the loading table. While holding the substrate in place, close the loading table. Keep one hand on the loading table so it does not fall open. Lock the loading table latches on both sides of the printer. Go to the front of the printer. On the bottom right side of the printer, raise the tension roller lever. Next, unlatch the tension roller at both ends. Move the tension roller to the front. Open the front door of the printer. Unlock the latches on both sides of the curing module. Open the curing module. Go to the computer. On the printer configuration page, Use the large blue button with a down arrow on it to advance the substrate. Help the substrate advance through the printer and through the curing module slot. The substrate should reach the floor before it is stopped. On the internal print server screen, click the large blue button that now has a square on it to stop the substrate. Pass the substrate behind the tension roller, then push the tension roller back into place. Close the latches on both sides of the tension roller to lock it into place. Go to the back of the printer. Unlock the loading table latches on both sides of the printer. Before lowering the second latch, place your hand on the loading table so it does not drop. Open the loading table. Go to the front of the printer. Pull the substrate tight to make sure it is evenly tensioned, no wrinkles or bumps. Align the substrate edges to the same position as the input roll. Lower the tension roller lever. Close the curing module and lock the latches on both sides. If you are using edge holders, install them now. Insert an edge holder into the printer at the substrate's edge. Attach the edge holder to the front of the platen. Attach the second edge holder on the opposite substrate edge. Go to the back of the printer. Attach the back half of each edge holder. Make sure the edge of the substrate aligns with the marks on the edge holders. Close the loading table and lock both latches. Return to the front of the printer. Close the front door, then go to the internal print server. Select the substrate category and type. Make sure that Roll to Freefall is still selected and then click Finish. The printer is now ready to print in the Roll to Freefall configuration. At this point, you have the option to set up the Roll to Collector configuration.
This configuration is similar to the roll to free fall configuration, but with the addition of a collector roller and loop shaper. First, position the output core so that it aligns with the input roll and the tension roller. Use the ruler markings to verify. Next, inflate the spindle to fix the core in place. On the internal print server, click the blue button with down arrow to advance the leading edge of the substrate until it reaches the core. Use the internal print server controls to stop the substrate advance. Attach the substrate to the empty core with adhesive tape. Secure it in the middle first and then tape it at the sides. Keep in mind the desired winding direction. This example shows the printed face outward configuration. When the substrate is secured, rotate the core by hand until the substrate is tightened around it. There should not be any wrinkles or slack across the substrate. Use the buttons in the internal print server again to advance the substrate to produce a substrate loop between the tension roller and the collector. Place an appropriate sized loop shaper into the loop. Go to the internal print server and click Enable Collector. Select the winding direction and click OK. Printed face outwards, as shown, is recommended because it permits a larger diameter output roll, up to 300 mm or 11.8 inches. Inward facing rolls are limited to a diameter of 200 mm or 7.8 inches. Press the Finish button. The printer is now ready to print. You can find additional helpful videos at hp.com forward slash support videos and on our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash hp support advanced.